Welcome along guys. Well today we're answering that question which I know everyone's been asking. You've got 15 grand in your pocket, you want an adventure bike, there's two new models on the market for 2020. There's the revamped V-Strom 1000 with the gold wheels, this new styling, the electronic updates. Same engine but a bit of a revamp on the styling. Or there's the new 2020 Africa Twin bigger engine, revamped styling, more electronics. The question is, which one is best? Good question. It's a good question. Good question. We shall answer it. Let's try. Well, here we are, back in the Japanese garden, surrounded by yet more motorcycles. We're quite lucky buggers, really, aren't we? Very lucky. <laughs> Japanese motorcycles. Japanese in motorcycles Japan. in the Japanese garden, in Japan. <laughs> Which is amazing. So, what can you say? Right, all the way amazing. to Japan, just to bring you a review like this. That's two weeks in quarantine we've got to go through exactly. now. Exactly. I hope your viewers appreciate what we have to go through. I know, I know. Such extremities to bring you some entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> we've also got Greg with us, as you can see, joining us for this comparison video. Greg's been in a few of these now. If Greg's new to you, check out some of the other comparison review videos we've done. I'm going to put them into a playlist. So now we've got a few of them. They're all together, so they can all be found back to back. But uh, they're, also... easy, they're easy to find. They've got the most views. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into it, I must say a massive, massive thank you to Wheels Motorcycles, yeah, who, yeah. who's lent us both of these bikes. Yeah. So without Wheels, we wouldn't be able to do this review. So massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles. I'll put some links below. Please check them out. They've got all sort. They've got deals on these actual bikes, so it's worth checking them out to see what their end of season deals they're doing. Really, yeah, it's a great time to buy. Really, isn't it? Exactly. Certainly in the next, yeah. next month or two. So the format's going to be: we're going to go through. We're going to. We've got nine different elements. We're going to score the bikes on, and we're going to give the bikes a score one out of ten on each of those elements, and then hopefully at the end of it. We'll come up with a winner. Clear winner. And then we'll see if the winner is the same on points to what our heart tells us is which one we'd actually have. I did a review of the Africa Twin in the past. You know, I've had one for a couple of weeks and I really liked it. But I've also ridden the both versions of the Beast Job before. Not this new one, but they call this a new one, but really it's just a styling update with a bit more electronics. The engine's unchanged, so it's still, I think it's 1,038cc or something like that. V-twin, so you've got that lovely bit of V-twin grunt. It feels like a V-twin as well, the Honda, because it's, um, it must have a 270 degree crank firing order, isn't it? So it, it, you wouldn't know it's a parallel twin, other to look at it, it's, um, yeah, it feels very similar, lovely. Loads of low down twinny grunt. It's quite surprising what they've managed to do with that engine, isn't it? It's, I'll tell you, the engine on the Honda, initial impressions of riding it for a few hours, it's lovely. It's really, really easy and talky and really nice, yeah. In the real world, it's lovely. It's a score, go. 1 to 10, 10 being amazing Yeah, looks. exactly. So okay. which of the two looks the best? 10 being, as you say, top, yeah. top okay. score. So Honda first, I reckon. You go first for the Honda. You go first, okay. And so, again, um, if you don't mind, just to set mind. expectations, but in my opinion, adventure bikes are not necessarily the best looking bikes on the road. I would agree. In my that. opinion, yeah, yeah. again, it's a bit subjective. Um, you know, if you want a good looking bike, you want a Panigale from Ducati or something, don't you? So, <laughs> yeah. th taking that aside, uh, I think out of 10, the Honda, just to justify my score, I think it's a little bit too tall and it looks a little bit tall and skinny from the front because of the 21 inch front wheel yeah so that it loses a few points because it's a little bit extreme looking yeah. and a bit odd looking it's, it's very top heavy looking, really top heavy looking and mm. it's a bit banana shaped from the side yeah so i'm going to give it for an adventure bike i'm going to give it i think seven and a half 
Are you not going into halves again? <laughs> is, that, is that too complicated? <laughs> I'm going to go seven well, and a half. Because, no, because I think an eight's a little bit too high yeah, and seven's yeah, a bit yeah. too low. So seven yeah. and a half, I think, for the, for the Africa twin. That's a fair score, I think. The same with, same with you. I mean, they're not the best looking bikes. I think it looks a bit sort of transformer-ish with the headlights as well. It looks a bit too much like a face. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I know a lot of bikes do, but I think it's almost got the high. Uh, and it's very top heavy looking. What are you going for then? I'm going to give it a seven. All right, go to me. Seven, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So then the Suzuki on looks, the V-Strom. So I think it looks pretty good, actually. Um, I prefer the 19-inch front wheel, looks nicer. Yeah. When I was following you riding it, the whole bike sits lower. It looks nice with those panniers on it. That's because I was on it though, wasn't it? No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. The average rider is really quite tall. No, and it, it looked, I think it looks pretty good for an adventure bike in my yeah. view. The new headlight I like, it's LED, it's, it looks current. It's it's sort of retro, I know Suzuki going for this sort of retro yeah. look and it definitely does have a retro element. It does, to the I, th style, I think it's it? pretty, for an adventure bike, it's pretty good looking. So I'm gonna go, I think, Eight and a half. Eight and a half, okay, yeah. Sorry to have thrown the halves in. No, 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 so eight and a half. I might even push a nine, but I'll stick with eight and a half. But I think it's that good. I think it looks really? pretty good. Well, yeah, I, mean, I think it looks good. So for me, I agree. I think it's the better looking bike out of the two. And yep. I was surprised by that because I wasn't sure, but I, I think I like the headlight. It's not, it doesn't look like a face, you know, you just no. got the flat, it's the headlight out of the Katana. It's Katana-ish, isn't it? It's yeah. the Katana headlight, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. all LED, you know, it's all yeah. LED, yeah. LED indicators, everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. I think it's got a good sort of stance on the road. It's not yeah, too agreed. high. Because it's geared up with, as a road bike and not an off-road bike, I think it's it a looks bit, all a bit lower, it doesn't it? It, and it, it? looks it does look better for it. So yeah. I'm not going to be quite as generous as you. I'm okay. going to give it an eight. Are you? I'm going to give it an okay. eight. Fair enough. Let's have a little play in the twisties then with your 21. Are you telling me the Africa Twins, are, it handles? I'm saying it's not bad. I'm not saying it's, it's not a bloody race bike. It's going on there. <laughs> well, we're not going to find out because we've just come across the Tour de France going up here. <laughs> oh, about Tour de France, they look Tour de Knackers. <laughs> the next one on the list is engagement. And this is a new one which we didn't have on the other bikes. This is all about how much fun and, and okay. the fun factor, really, yeah. when you're riding it and how much feedback, you know, yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, no, the rider enough. feedback and engagement of the okay. bike. Honda first again? Honda first again and you first again. I think the Honda is absolutely brilliant to ride really really like it the engine's amazing you can short shift it you can throw it around a little bit even though it's big yeah um i'm i'm gonna go in at a nine i think mm. i think for an adventure bike it's it's really really good um, and i think the highlight for me and you may come onto engines later is is the engine on that bike yeah. it's so good instant grunt and it's so easy to ride the gearbox is lovely and, and it is engaging you yeah. can hustle it actually yeah. It's yeah. nice. So you're giving it a nine? I am, yeah. Which is a good score for me because I'm that's pretty stingy. That's a really, really good score for you. I think, I really think the Africa Twin is I'm, very, I'm, very I'm, good to I'm ride. I'm surprised, actually, oh, yeah. at that. Yeah, I'm surprised. I I agree. The engine is the, the highlight of that yeah. bike, I think, with that question. And I think we didn't take them off-road. You know, I'm not a fan of 21-inch front wheels no, on, no. on road bikes. And, no, no. <laughs> okay, it's not a road bike. It's an adventure bike. It's designed to go off-road. But as we touched on before, there's so many different models of that bike. There's so many variations very, of, the back of, the twin. variations five, of that bike. And none of them have a 19 inch front wheel option, do they? They're all 21s. Which right. is a shame. And, and, and it would look better for it as well. Yeah. And it would be quicker steering, wouldn't it? And when you compare it to the V Strom on the road and riding, yeah. and I think yeah. at engagement, that, that feedback you get around the corners, because of the 21, I think it lets it down. Yeah, fair I enough. Think it, I think it does let it down. But the, the engine's the highlight, but I'm going to score, I'm going to go an eight. An eight for I'm engagement. I'm going to go an eight for engagement oh, for, yeah. the, okay. for the, for the, uh, for the yeah. Africa Twin. V Strom engagement, so um, I really like it as well, and it is engaging. And I think as when you ride it, I almost forgot that it was an adventure bike. Yeah, yeah, it just feels like a nice road bike. Yeah. It's just easy. It just does everything as it should. Yeah, and it is quite engaging. It's the, the engine's a bit flatter. Um, yeah, it is. The engine's flatter, isn't it, than the, than the Honda? But once you once you're there, it's still nice, and it's yeah. still a thousand and fifty cc ish. Yeah. Twin. It's plenty of grunt. It's got plenty, of exactly. Game, so I think I'm going to go an eight on engagement okay. with this. Um, it's a bit less engaging, but it's still good. Talking about performance, we know the Suzuki is 105 brake horsepower, 100 newton meters of torque. The Honda, I think, is 100, 100 brake horsepower and 105 newton meters of torque. So it's got a little bit more, a little bit less power, a little bit more torque. But I think you're around, I think it's about 10 kilos lighter 
than the Suzuki. So to know which one is the quickest, there's only one thing for it. It's got to be a drag race. Three, two, one, go. You're gone. This does have a bit of a weight disadvantage because it's got the panniers with the camera oh, gear in. Don't and it's, talk and it's got me on it, of course. Yeah, it's got panniers. me on it, don't forget Nothing that. Nothing in them. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's way quicker the Honda. Yeah, the Honda is way quicker. I'll tell you what, just, just to settle it, let's just swap bikes. <laughs> just swap bikes very quickly because we, we've got to take everything into account here. I think it's rider ability. It's rider ability. <laughs> Go. It's got it, isn't it? The Honda's got it. Uh, next, we have comfort. The comfort of the two bikes. Okay. So, Honda first, just keep it consistent. Yeah, keep it consistent. You first on the Honda. So, I think the Honda is very comfortable. It's an extremely upright riding position, which yeah. doesn't necessarily suit everybody no. because I think it's so upright that you can feel a little bit through your back, yeah. potentially, yeah, if you're that yeah. way inclined. And your ass a bit. Um, I think the comfort on it, though, is it's perfect. My only criticism is I don't like the seat. The yeah. seat on it is too narrow and it's too hard. Yeah. And I'm really surprised, but after only about 20 minutes, I'm thinking about my backside, which I don't even do that on my own KTM, yeah. which you'd think on an adventure bike, yeah, you'd be comfortable all day long. So I'm going to give, isn't it? But, but I think it's a, small, it's a small thing to fix, mm. isn't it? You can get another seat. So I'm going to give it uh, nine for comfort because it's only the seat that I don't like. Okay, well, that's, a, yeah, yeah. that's a good score. I'm not messing about today. You're not. You're, you're, I'm you're, right in you're, there. You're in a good mood to play, yeah, aren't you? Exactly. You're throwing these points away. Yeah. Me on the... I, I, I do agree with what you say. I think they've made the seat very thin to yeah. accommodate... Shorter riders, shorter getting riders, your legs down. Getting yeah. your legs down. And you really notice it, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're lucky we're taller, yeah. so we're, we, you know, I'd prefer a wider seat. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm going to give it eight and a half. Okay. I'm going to give it eight it's and a half. a good score, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Part, it would have a nine if it wasn't for the seat. Yeah. v -Strom, so... I haven't ridden the V-Strom quite as much as the Honda, yeah. but I think the V-Strom is really nice riding position, really comfortable. I could see myself riding it all day. The seat is lovely on it. It feels a little bit more sporty, doesn't it? Feels it feels a bit yeah. more sporty, but the seat's way softer. Yeah. It feels a bit wider. It's very comfortable. I like it. Um, I'm going to go, to be honest with you, I'm going to go 10 because I don't think well, you can get, yeah. you, you can't, this is about as comfortable as a bike yeah. gets, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's really comfortable. If you're a bit more upright on this, perhaps maybe the bars are a bit closer to you. Yeah, the Honda's more upright. I actually, yeah, the, the riding position on the Suzuki is, dare I say it, it feels a bit more sporty actually. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right. I think you're definitely a straighter back on this. You're, you're sort of your leg angle. You're almost like you're sat at a kitchen table. You know, you're that sort of position. Your feet are further forward as well, I think. I think, I think the Suzuki does have we are a slightly more sporty riding position. I think the Suzuki, you can definitely, the steering is definitely quicker because of that front wheel. Oh god, yeah, this is this is much more vague going into the into the bends than what that is. Definitely, it's got a nice engine tone, this though, hasn't it? This sounds more like a V-twin than the actual <laughs> the V-twin. So on to sound. Sound. Oh, I didn't really pay much attention. Well, I suppose I wasn't sort no. of listening out. It's not so, the sort of bike you think. Oh, it's not like no, the the, the, ho like the, uh, the, Honda, the Honda wins on sound for me. Actually, yeah, you're right. Because does, yeah. the Honda actually, even with the stock pipe, has got a nice twin thrum to it that you can really you can hear it. Yeah, it's yeah. not loud, but you can hear it, yeah. and it's quite engaging the noise. Yeah. The Suzuki is very quiet in stock form, but it still sounds nice. And actually, on tick over, I know it sounds a bit of a, a weird thing to say, but the engine on the Suzuki sounds so mechanically sorted it sounds lovely it's, it's typical suzuki typical isn't it? suzuki really nice sewing machine, there's, yeah it? no there's no rattle there's no no and yeah. you know it just sounds really nice but i think sound in the way that we're scoring it here i think the honda yeah. is better yeah. and i'm going to give the honda um an eight and a half So the V-Strom's had this styling update. It's all very, it's all very 80s. 
including the dashboard. <laughs> it, it's got the Casio, the latest Casio display. Who cares though? No, I know. I mean, that this, this is new. This display is new for this bike. It's very similar to the GSX-R display. But it's got all the information you could ever need. You know, battery voltage, mileage to empty, fuel gauge, outside, I think it's got outside air temperature, time, you know, engine temperature as well. It's all the information is there and it's all on the screen at the same time as well. So you don't have to go through modes to find it. It makes it busy, but once you know where everything is, you know where to look, it's absolutely fine. No, well, the Honda, by contrast, has this TFT screen and then a LCD Casio looking screen underneath. Um, so, and it's got speed and gear position and miles on the bottom screen and then loads of info on the top screen. I don't, I don't understand why it's got two, unless it's there as a fail safe for the TFT going bang when you're out on the road, but seems a bit overkill. What really annoys me and what bugged me when I rode it, they, they both can display different speeds. No. So you, you can have a slightly different speed on the lower one to on the main screen. Well, only, I've, not only noticed, I've not noticed that. I've not noticed uh, that. Uh, uh, it's only fractionally. You might just see one will change slightly quicker, but it's like, really? why aren't they the same? Yeah. So that, that'll get your OCD going. So next we've got equipment. Equipment levels between the bikes. Now, starting on the Honda, the, the Honda is better equipped. Without doubt. It is a more expensive bike, which we'll come on to, but you know, you don't come got, on to ride, just equipment. You've got the car Apple Play, you've got two displays on the bike yeah. for one, you know, you've got you've got the TFT, you've got the L C D on it, you've got car play, yeah. you've got a host of heated grips, heated heated grips. grips, cruise control. Yeah. You know, I think it's got everything. I can't think what, what it has. The, only, the got. only thing it hasn't got on this particular model is the blipper and quick shifter. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's, 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 that's about the only thing it hasn't that, got, that. and it hasn't got luggage. Correct, correct. Which the Suzuki in this guy's does have the luggage. Yeah. But other than that, it does have everything, and it is yeah. really well stacked in terms of it's, equipment levels. Isn't yeah, it? it's it's got it's got yeah. everything. You've got even got you know turn uh, cornering, oh, cornering lights, lights yeah. cornering yeah. lights. It's yeah. got the IMU with the cornering lights. Yeah. It's got a lot, hasn't it? It's got everything you could see. You're going to score it then on equipment? Of. It's got, uh, well, if it's got everything, it's got to be a, a 10. Well, but it's got equipment, but it's not that easy to use. That's so, oh, oh, we shouldn't be scored down because... Well, what other made... categories have we got that might cover that ease well, of use? Well, have got value. Well, why don't you add a category now in live TV <laughs> of ease of use? Add it. Ease of I think it's use. worth adding. I think that's a good category for yeah, these bikes. Yeah, you're right. So, so just talk about equipment yeah. then. So equipment, equipment, I think it's a 10. I think it's good. got everything. You could, it hasn't got electronic suspension, but even no, that, that, I, th that, I think it's a 10. I, I think, think that's a, a bonus 10. because it's yeah. less to go wrong when it gets a bit sandy. No keyless if you did ignition. Use it. There's another bonus. There's another bonus, no keyless. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm agreeing with you. I think the Honda Africa Twin is a 10. It's got everything. I mean, yeah. God, there's nothing else that you could really yeah. worry about, to be honest. Agreed. Suzuki. Suzuki this year they've added an IMU. They've added cruise yeah. control to it. You know, the, the I heated, didn't even know it had cruise. It yeah, got cruise. it's got cruise oh, control. Okay. Good. It has. It's got heated grips are an option. So they yeah. are. In it. I think they're about three hundred pound. The heated grips they are quite expensive. But that's a Suzuki fit. That's isn't a Suzuki fit. Which is nice, isn't it? The factory. Yeah. 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 Or by the dealer. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so it's got the IMU. It's got the cruise control, which is an important one. It is. But it is pretty basic. The screen adjustment. You can only do it off the bike. You, you've got to do it from Windscreen. the front. Yeah. yeah. The, the, whereas the Africa Twin. You, you may to do it off the bike, you've got, but you've got to use both hands. So pop the cruise control on, screw See, it up I, I disagree. I think that they're both stop because you have to use both hands on the Apple between the screen. <laughs> You're not supposed to put cruise well. control. <laughs> You're not. So I think that's a bit of a stretch. You can do it. You cannot do this riding along with you, you cannot do it regardless. You can on the Honda. But you shouldn't but, be. But you shouldn't be. It's not overly safe. It's definitely illegal. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Friends, how you look at it. But anyway, yeah, equipment levels on the on the Suzuki. Yeah, so it's, 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 I'm going to give it an eight. Oh yeah. Well, I think that's might be a bit too I think generous. That's a bit actually. optimistic. I'm going to give it seven and a half. Yeah, I, I, and I'm half. going seven and a half. Um, I think it's seven and a half because it's got a lot less gadgetry than the Honda. Yeah. However, um, it is a lower score because of that. To some people, including myself, mm. I think it's a bonus because it's it's just nice and simple in relative terms for a 2020 bike. There's less to go wrong. It is true. And yeah, yeah. yeah you that, know, that some is, bikes they're getting a bit too complicated, aren't they? That is, a, and that I think is a prime but example. Let's leave the scores as they are because yeah. that has got better tech. Yeah. It has. Yep. If tech's your thing, oh, without well, that, that's, that's the Honda's the one, yeah. isn't it? What's your battery voltage? Um, 34 miles an hour. 
<laughs> See what I mean? I've got it all no, there. I'm, doesn't say. Doesn't I'm say. sure the Honda will tell you there somewhere. But, they uh, probably will, but oh, I, the menus on here, uh, you need to be a member of Mensa to figure it out. And unfortunately for our viewers, I am not a member of Mensa, so I've had it. It is overly complicated, isn't it? Really complicated. You need to read the book for everything, which is a bit extreme, I think. I'm sure you'll get used to it if you owned it, for sure. But the fact that it doesn't come with any natural intuition, it, for me, is a bit of a problem, really. And the uh, techies have over-engineered it, haven't they? That is it, isn't it? You should, if, if it's a good system, you shouldn't need to have to crack the manual out. You should, it should be naturally be able to navigate your way through it. Like the heated grips on there, I mean, turning the heated grips on. It, no, and you have to use both sides of the controls to get them going and change the temperature, which is quite complicated, isn't it, really? It's a bit like launching a nuclear missile, isn't it? Yeah, and bearing <laughs> in mind by the time time. you turn them on, your hands are frozen so your fingers don't work, you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our live added category, ease yeah. of use. So and when you say ease of use, you're not talking about rideability, you're talking about ease of use of electronics. Well, I don't know, you told me to write it down. I know, right. <laughs> I'm, okay, so I think we're talking about ease of use of the electronics yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And, 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 exactly. and the systems available. Exactly. So, so how complicated is it to navigate the menus? Exactly. So I've got to say, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry to say it, the Honda, um, it's too complicated. And you know it's bad when you have to reach for the handbook just to do basic things. Because <laughs> normally you have a play around and you yeah, suss. Yeah, well, normally it, you can suss yeah, things, can't you? It's, it's really, really complicated. Um, yeah. And um, it, that's not my thing, really. Yeah. So ease of use on the Honda, I'm gonna go, oh God, I don't wanna destroy it completely. I'm gonna go five because it's, yeah. I actually can't think of a bike that I have struggled to navigate the menus of more badly than that Africa tweet, <laughs> to I, be I, honest. No, I, I agree. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm exactly with you. When I first borrowed it, I was like, oh, how do you... And it may have loads of good stuff on there, but I haven't even managed to find. No, exactly. Because I'm, it's so complicated. Exactly. I was saying when we were riding, which I don't know if you'll include, but unless you're a member of Mensa, you ain't ever going to work out the menus on that. <laughs> well, even they're struggling, aren't they? <laughs> and needless to say, neither of us are members. <laughs> well, speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. These bikes are just really all about comfortable cruising, aren't they, really? That, that's, yeah. That's what it, especially the V-Strom, it's got no off-road uh, aspirations, I don't think. No, I mean, that one you're on comes with the, um, that Suzuki there comes with the wire wheels, which I think they do a cast wheel version, don't they? Yeah, they do. This is, this is the XT. So this is, there's two versions. This is the XT, which is the dearer one. So that is supposed to be a bit more off-roady then, isn't it? Only really in looks, because this has got the 19-inch front, so much, much better on the road. I think the ground clearance is also quite low, and of course there's no off-road mode on it, you know. All, probably all of the traction control, all of the ABS will be geared up for road. You can't switch that to an off-road mode. So I think, I think really, reading between the lines, it's really a mile muncher for the road, this thing. Whereas the Honda does have a electronic off-road mode. Um, and so, and it's the ground clearance, just looking at them side by side, the Honda is quite a bit taller underneath, isn't it? So I think you could do more off-road with this Honda. Well, and of course it's got the 21 inch front wheel, isn't it? That, exactly, that's very much, yeah, very true. It's got the 21 inch front wheel. The only problem with them off-road and the Honda particularly is, if you lost your footing, it'd be like the Titanic going down, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, it might get down a bit quicker though, that's the only thing. <laughs> So next we have value. Okay. Africa Twin. As in good value for money. Yeah, value for money. Yeah. Value for money. Yeah. So Africa Twin is four six. I don't think it is, because that's very cheap. No, yeah, 14, six, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be cheap, yeah. be a bargain. Fourteen six. Yeah. That version of the V-Strom, the XT, which is the higher spec version, is eleven four. But this is the high spec. High spec 11, XT eleven four. But you don't get the panniers with the eleven four. No, you don't get the panniers. The panniers. Okay. Are optional, and it's yeah. the same with that. Yeah, you know, no, the that's pan, fine. The, the pannier you know, price will be because they're on, just to mention it. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, you don't get the big panniers. price difference, isn't it? Big price difference. Yeah. What three? It's about three grand difference list. Yeah, yeah. which is quite a lot, isn't it's it? A well, it is a lot of money. Yeah, uh, we, it's worth mentioning. Wheels are doing this fifteen hundred quid off at the moment. Are they? Yeah, which brings it. Yeah, fifty. That brings it down to fifteen hundred quid ish between them. Yeah. Okay. So it's still fifteen hundred quid more. So score. What are you giving value? Value for money. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen six for that version. Start, they, start, they start at 13, so yeah. even the base model is more, yeah, quite a okay. bit more than um, that. I'm going to go, I'll go an 8, because I think if you yeah. compare it to the other adventure bikes in the market, 
I think it still represents pretty good value, and they're you know they're all very expensive now, aren't they? Yeah. So I'll go eight for the Honda. Eight for the Honda. I'm going to value. Uh, I'm going to go seven and a half. Really? Yeah, I'm going to go seven and a half. Blimey, that's you written off with by Honda on your channel, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Suzuki, eleven thousand four hundred official price on the road. Um, I think it is um, incredible value. Yeah, it's incredible value. Yeah. That is a hell of a lot of bike for it that is, money. It is. Uh, I'm going to go. Literally. I'm going to go ten Give it because a 10 I think it, you cannot go wrong value for money. Yeah. No, you're right. It is, yeah. That is incredible value for money. Isn't it's invaluable. It? Yeah, it is incredible. It is incredible value for money, and it's got more or less everything that you know, apart from electronic. Yeah, just wizardry. Gadgets, yeah, exactly. It's, 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 it's as good as that, exactly. isn't it? But that's well, my view. What do you think? I'm going to give it a nine. I'm okay. going to give it a nine on value. Yeah. Is that a guy on a blade trying to get past us back there? Uh, yeah, well, he's not trying to get past, but he is a guy on an old blade, yeah, by the looks of it. We won't let him past, he's not coming past us. He won't get past your panniers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so lastly, we have quality. Quality, quality okay. of the machine. You go first, Sam. The Honda is lovely quality. Everything Without is that. nicely finished Beautiful. on it. The yeah. TFTs, high spec, high resolution. You know, it, the plastics are the lovely, plastics aren't they? Are nice. It's yeah. nice, isn't it? It is, it is very nice, and I think, I think I'm gonna. It's gonna score quite highly, I think, because yep. of that. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm oh, gonna yeah. give it a nine on quality. Okay. No, yeah. very good. I think. Uh, I'm gonna go nine and a half because oh, yeah. yeah, I am. Yeah. I think the quality of the Honda. It feels lovely. Honda build beautiful bikes. That is lovely. It feels premium. It does feel very, very special. It does. Quality it does. wise. Yeah, agreed. And it looks nice in that paint we've mentioned before. Definitely. It, it, yeah. it, it, and it seems good quality paint as well, doesn't it? It's yeah. scratch oh, it's all like, pulescent. You know, it's, it's a lovely finish yeah, on definitely. it. A really lovely finish. Suzuki? Quality. Suzuki, quality. We know the mechanicals of Suzuki's are quality. There's yep. no distributing that. But, you know, they build budget bikes and they, they cut costs perhaps on... They do. They're on, cheaper for a reason, aren't they? They're cheaper for a reason, yeah. yeah. And the quality of it, it's still fine. Yeah, but the plastics look a bit cheaper. Yeah, the it's not premium, the, is it? No, it's not premium. The fasteners look a bit cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the mouldings of stuff sometimes yeah, don't look as nice. Yeah. So, it's it, I, I'm going to give it quality because the mechanics are so good. Go on, it then. scores more. So I'm going to give it an eight. Are you? I'm going to give it an eight on quality. I'm going to, and again, there's nothing wrong with it, and I think it would last for hundred thousand miles plus. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's not an issue, but it's definitely a cheaper bike, yeah. and you can feel it. I'm going to go seven. Yeah. Because uh, I think, I think, I think, I think the fair. quality, I think it's a seven. Uh, and again, I'd buy one tomorrow. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah. But, you know, it's not a premium product. Yeah. And I think that's evident yeah. when you when you sort of look at the detail. Agreed. Yeah. yeah, agreed. So that is it. So that is our categories. Are we now in uh, me adding them up? We're now into your, well, <gasps> you've got, to, it's an added difficulty because you've also got to read my writing as oh well. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a while. 33. 40 and a half, 48 and a half. And then it's, uh, so that's plus 17. What's that? Yeah, carry the one. 9.5. Thank you, Carol. So the scores are in. The maths are done. Brilliant. It's quite surprising. And it's, I know you know because you just added it up, but it's quite surprising and it's very close. Africa Twin, 112.5. So again, just to recap, this is all the scores, yours and mine added together, yeah. 112.5. Yeah. The V Strom. 115. 115 is it? 115. So it's the winner. Blimey. It Incredible. is the winner. So that's all those things considered, added together, 115. So it's 115. very, very close, isn't it? So that's the scores. The v Strong wins on points. Yep. Now, if you could have the keys to one of these bikes for the next five years, which one would you take away oh. out of the two? And that's quite tricky, isn't it? It is tricky. Um, I like them both. And actually, I'm a bit torn because I think the Honda engine is quite addictive. I loved it. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, and it's so easy to ride and yeah. it's so lovely. It's faster as well. It's, it it's faster. definitely faster. Um, I find the Suzuki riding position nicer and more comfortable. Um, I honestly, I think I'd go for the Suzuki just because it's cheaper. But actually, in terms of no, but it's, no price doesn't come into it though. You could just no, have but, it. No, God, <laughs> you don't, the price don't come into it. So you, you could just take the bike. I'd have the Honda. You'd have the Honda, would I you? I think so. Would you? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a really difficult one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Because you think, oh, you know, we, we we scored that more. Yeah. I did enjoy riding it. What I really want is the engine out of that. In that. That'd, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. 
Um, which one would you have the keys for for yeah, free? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd take the V-Score. Would you? Yeah. I think so. Very I good. don't want to go off-road. I'm not interested no. in any of that. If, if I want to munch miles, I think I'd have more fun Fair doing enough. it on the beast yeah. drum. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Very good. That is it. Thanks very much for watching. We're going to be doing a, another comparison shortly. We're going to be doing the comparison between the new Fireblade and our winner of our last test, the yeah. RSV4. Lovely. So we're going to have the RSV4 and the blade, same format, same, same comparison format. Again, that's Wheels Motorcycles dropping those off to us as well. So a massive, massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles yeah, for dropping us these bikes off. And yeah, it's, it's incredible the support they're giving. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for Wheels. So really appreciated. So thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Cheers.